Williams and they're planning on filing a defamation lawsuit against him, but cats don't appear to be too bothered by this threat because he just sent them some very strong words he allegedly has some very damaging information about them. That's gonna make things way messier for them, y'all. There's a whole, there's a lot of drama going on here. So let's get right into it now. If y'all didn't already know that Cat recently did an explosive interview that he did on Club Shay, where he accused Cedric and Ricky of stealing his jokes and then passing them off as their own. This has resulted in a widespread hate campaign against them online, but it ain't just them. Because even Cat Williams is catching a lot of heat because of this, and it is being attacked by other artists in the industry. We've seen several people call him out, including Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish, and Cedric, the entertainer, Ricky Smiley. They're all finally clapping back well during the interview Cat talked about Cedric the Entertainer and accused him of stealing his jokes. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018. You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I, this is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. He then called, Cedric is out for being a fraud who doesn't write his own jokes. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why well, I'm not a movie can't, star. Can't, can't, can't. What? It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. An album. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? They're so bad that they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. He also claimed that Cedric would attend his shows just to steal jokes from him. This is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, <laughs> and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, <clears throat> I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. So this is not just a random joke a baby cat was on fire during that interview, because he also came for Ricky Smiley is claiming that Ricky has been playing the same role. Over and over. In all his movies since his career started. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Like, you gotta be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100 city tour. I'm not gonna have a conversation with these lazy that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym. He also exposed Ricky for relying about the roles that he and Kat played in the movie Friday After Next. In an earlier interview, Ricky claimed that in the movie, he was supposed to play Kat's role as Money Mike and Kat were supposed to play the role of the robber Santa Claus. However, Kat dismissed this as a pile of crap and claimed that Ricky was lying. Are you kidding me? You let Ricky Smiley sit here and you said out that mouth, you stole Friday after next, the one I was in? <laughs> I wish all, all of America fumbled a bit when that happened. And, and then he said some stuff that we haven't heard in 100 years in Hollywood. You ain't say nothing. But this man told you he had Cat Williams' role. He was going to be Money Mike. Wait. And Cat Williams was going to be... Fr was gonna be the Santa Claus. Now let's, three quick points. Three quick. You mean in Hollywood, they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds. That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. He was gonna play the pimp. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? This was a lot and Cedric was so upset that he slammed Cat by saying, Revision is history. 
Regardless of whatever the cat's opinion, my career can't be reduced to one joke. Cat Williams claims as his, I've been in over 40 movies, my specials, and brands speak volumes about who I am and the people I've put on include the cat and the hat at Gibson Amphitheater, and all that tough talk is corny of I'm a grown man and none of that stuff is going to go like you think. Is it just me, or did he not deny stealing the joke now? Ricky, on the other hand, also had an interesting reaction to this, is because he broke down while making a cup of coffee on Instagram fans. found it kind of weird that he would cry over the cat's insult. But then he came out to reveal that the real reason that he was crying is because it was the anniversary of his son's passing coming up soon, and he was all in his emotions. Please know and understand. I had just played Jonathan Mac Reynolds' God is Good. I got up, walked out of the studio to make coffee, and the song was in my head, and it triggered me all the way back. to when I found out what had happened to Brandon. And somebody just decided to take a video and said, um, <laughs> Ricky smiley crying because of what's being said about, said by him, by another comedian. And that ain't the sad part. The sad part is, the other sad part is that people actually Oh, but hold up, because the word on the street is Cedric and Ricky has teamed up against Cat. Williams, and they're taking the steps necessary to file a lawsuit against Cat for defamation. The streets are saying they're convinced Cat's words have crossed the line into defamation because he was attacking their professional integrity as well as their source of livelihood, and they aren't going to stand for that. Oh, but they clearly don't. I know too much about Cat Williams because he ain't backing down anytime soon. Instead, he's actually issued a very strong warning against Cedric and Smiley against filing that lawsuit, claiming he has more dirt on them than they would ever want to come out during a trial. And if the cat says he has some dirt, oh baby, he's got the dirt, and he probably has the receipts to back up his flames too. Like I said, Cat Williams is not the kind of people you mess with, and these two other men are learning this the hard way. As usual, people have their own two cents. Still, about Cedric and Ricky are threatening to sue the cat. Y'all know what to do, let me know. Your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.